Yo guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing off the new released mob menu creator add-on for my tool and I'll also be going into detail on how to set it up, uh, how to make your own custom mob menu or custom script and then use it in game. Just so there's no confusion, I just want to say that this is a paid add-on for my tool so if you already have my tool you will need to pay for this add-on as well mainly because of the amount of time and work that's gone into developing it and there is still much more to come. Now, I, I plan to keep improving it, adding more features and keeping it up to date just like how the main tool is. So making it a paid add-on allows me to dedicate the time needed to make it the best it can be. Once you have activated your token for the menu creator, you can then just click onto this and it will load up. Uh, so basically before you do anything you want to go up here to Xbox 360 setup and you want to install this required folder So if we click this this will then download into your my tool folder and What you want to do with this is you want to drag this folder to the root of your HDD So if I quickly do that And once you've done that, you can pretty much start using this straight away. So we're going to click 360 and we're going to choose Modern Warfare 2 for the game that we're going to be making a mob menu on. So then up here, you can then click on this. And this is basically where everything is, how you want your menu to look like, what you want to call it and stuff like that. Like if you want to change the background or outline colours, you can do that. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go to template and I'm going to choose, um, no, I'm going to choose template free. And I'm going to put this in the middle. I'm going to remit, actually no, I'm going to keep the outlines. Uh, for my menu opening, I'm going to keep that as grow actually. And um, I think I'll add a custom news bar. And I'll have the text sliding right to left. Now for the menu color, uh, you can just click onto this thing here and it will give you a load of colors. Uh, you can open this up as well and do your own custom color. Uh, but for this video, I'm just going to go with green. So I'm going to make all of my outline and scroller green. Um, for the news bar, I'm going to make that purple. And for the background, I'm going to do, or actually now I'm going to keep that black. And uh, for the main background, so for the alpha, this is basically how transparent you want the shader to be. So if we were to set that to say 0.5, we'll be able to see through that. And um, yeah, once you're finished with all of that, uh, to edit your menu, well, to edit your title and text and stuff like that, you basically just click on the text. And we can now write something like Smokey X K O V X V one and for the news bar, I'm going to put something like Welcome to my Modern Warfare 2 mod menu. I hope you enjoy. And for the first sub menu, I'm just going to put main mods. And I'm going to put fun mods. And then. And down here you can choose how many sub menus you want. So if you want it to be like a small menu, uh, you can remove some of the sub menus. So if you only want four sub menus, then it'll be like that. If you want 10, then it will show 10. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to do a main mods, fun mods, and lobby mods. So in order to edit each sub menu, you would go up here to menu sub one, menu sub two, 
Um, if we click on that, it will update the text to what we've actually put on the menu. So main mods, fun mods, lobby, lobby mods. And um, yeah, so this is where you would uh, add the functions to your menu. Uh, so the first option, I would say, let's add God mode. Uh, we can add two times speed for that. Uh, we can do no clip there. And let's say pro mod. And again, just below that, you can choose how many options you want in each sub menu as well. So because we've only got four, I'll just add that as four. So down here, this is where you would add the functions to the options. So at the minute, your are added functions are nothing. So if we go to add function here and we use this box to select where we want to uh, find our functions. So God mode would be a self modifications. And then once you find God mode or the function that you want, you would just add selected function and that will add it to the top. Uh, so for the second one, we added two times speed. So that will be something else that's in here. Uh, for no clip. And pro mod. Now if we go over here to fun mods. Uh, let's see what functions we can add in here then. So once you're done with um, your menu and you like what you have and everything like that, um, you would then go to output. And this is where you would create the project. So before you build your project, you want to go to this list here, save project. And you want to choose where you want to save this project. So at this current time, there are 10 my menu projects that you can save it to. So for, since this is our first project, I'm just going to put my menu project one. And now you can go over here and build your project. And you'll just get a little warning here saying this will be saved to my project one. So just in case you have a project already and you don't want to overwrite it, you can quickly press no. Um, but yeah, we're going to press yes. And um, yeah, all of this coding is what you've just done on the menu creator. So now if you want to inject it to the game, you would just uh, select your project. So because we saved it as project one, uh, you just want to go to this list here and put it as project one as well. And once you're on the game, you literally just press inject project to console and it will say your code has been in injected. You can now start the game. So if I go to my Xbox screen, uh, you'll get this pop up and it will just say, do you want to load your custom GSC? And you just want to press load. And if we go to, uh, let's say this mission. Use the weapons caches and set up your claymores if you've got any left. Defensive positions, let's go. And there we go, there's our news bar with our custom text and if we press aim and knife there's the mod you just made. If we go to main mods, we've got gob mode, two times speed, pro mod. And yeah, that's literally how easy and fast it is to create your own mob menu. Um, if you are experienced in GSE, you can also use this to add your own code. You know, you can just remove all of the project code if you don't want to use the mob menu creator and you want to just um, type your own stuff out. 
Um, when you do save a project, you can load that code back up again. So if we go over here to load a save project, uh, because we saved that as my menu project one, we're going to click on my menu project one and then load project. And this will give you all the code back to that project again. And um, yeah, if you want to go through it, if you want to learn, if you're new to GSC and you want to learn how to edit certain things, um, so on our news bar we added this if you wanted to you could just uh, replace this with something new so um and then if we scroll down to the menu title so that was smoky x curvy xv1 uh let's change that to might 1.4 and because we made our main black background a bit transparent, um, I'm going to change that as well, which would be down here. And we will set that to one. And then, yeah, pretty much once you're done with uh, whatever you've uh, needed to do, you just press save project edits. And this will then overwrite your project one or whatever project that you've uh, loaded and saved. And yeah, all you pretty much do is just inject, inject uh, project to console. And if we go back to the game and load it again. Weapons caches and set up your claymores if you've got any left. Defensive positions, let's go. A UAV loaded with ATMs is en route to your position. And there we go, our new edits have been loaded. Which is also very useful um, with how it works because you literally only need to restart the game and um, your new project will then load up uh, like we just did there. But yeah, we hope you enjoy this new add on to my tool. Um, hopefully it helps you learn GSC a lot better if, if you're wanting to learn that but um, if you don't then you can just use the tool to create your own mod menu without coding anything. There are a lot of plans ahead for it so um, we hope you enjoy them when they come out. But yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.